Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this video on the Firearms Control Act and the new bill that's being passed to try and remove your right to self-defense and owning a firearm for self-defense. And it's very important that I make a couple of things clear with regards to my position on this. Because there's many people saying many things out there and many of them will be wolves in sheep's clothing. Remember, this is an election year, and in an election year, a lot of people will say one thing and do something. I want to do something else. I want to highlight the pitfalls of the people that you think you might follow. You think that they are supporting you in your right to self-defense when they are not. And you have to read between the lines. The first pitfall, anyone that says that one day we can sit down to discuss the disarmament of citizens if... Uh, weapons and arms have been removed from criminals. They are not your friend. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. And you will find many organizations and political parties having this narrative. Do not trust them at all. You should always have the right to bear arms for self-defense. Our constitution does not give you that right. And I'll get to that now. That is the second point. But just to finish up the first point. The official opposition will say that they support that this bill is not passed now in Parliament. And the MPs in Parliament might not support the bill. But they do support this armament of the civilians in this country. If someone can prove that there is no more threat to the civilians. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. You should always have that right. Anyone that spins that narrative is in the pocket of the United Nations. Do not trust them. This is what my meetings are about, is to highlight things like this to you. The second thing, if someone says that you have a right under the Constitution to protect yourself with a firearm, they are lying to you. We do not have that right under the Constitution. These are what we call constitutionalists. They actually believe in our Constitution. I do not. Our constitution is fraught with errors that remove your freedom. And we need to change the constitution to ensure that it says in the Bill of Rights that you have a right to defend yourself. It says currently only that you have a right to life. That's it. That does not include the right to defend yourself because our government has given themselves the right to defend you. In other words, they want to defend you with our current police force and with our current military, are they serious? If you trust that, there is something severely wrong with you. So you should only trust yourself and the people around you that you trust, and especially organized, to be able to defend yourself. And you should have a right to bear a firearm to defend your life. That is not a right you have currently. So anyone that says that, they are wolves in sheep's clothing. Let me make that plain and clear. And I get really upset when these wolves in sheep clothing go on public platforms and spew their nonsense to the public. And the public might believe them. I want to change that narrative and make it clear to you. Come to one of my meetings, whether it's an online meeting, whether it's a meeting in person. I am having a meeting in Centurion next week, Saturday, and we'll have a meeting every Saturday after that, every single Saturday, there will be a meeting. We won't be touring like we did before, but the meetings will not stop. They will continue. And I will explain to you in detail, face to face, what we are facing on a global scale. The disarmament of citizens is a drive of the United Nations. They don't want you to own a gun because they have bigger plans for the world. This is a worldwide plan. This is not a conspiracy theory. A conspiracy it is, yes. But the actions speak, their actions speak louder than their words. Because they don't speak about this in plain and simple terms. I have to do that. And any of these people that are our enemy, you are our enemy if you want to take my right away under any conditions. I don't care if there's no criminal in the world with a weapon. You should have the right to bear arms to prevent criminals from attaining weapons. 
So anyone that speaks a different narrative is an enemy to our cause. Do not stand by us. They can start their own campaign. Don't be part of the campaign that I am driving, where I want every single citizen to have the right to bear arms, to protect their lives. And I want it included in the Bill of Rights. Not just want, we are driving the action to do that ourselves. We will change the constitution. We will make sure that it's enforced in a new governance system. And we will ensure there's a new electoral act where we can elect individual independent leaders under a direct election system. But the system change has to happen first. It cannot happen any other way. So that all these wolves in sheep's clothing can be thrown out there and so that they can be exposed for who and what they are. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe and click the bell icon and go to the section where I discuss how you should question everything. Go to that playlist. Go to the playlist section and go watch the videos where I discuss how you should question everything. It's called the Question Everything series, and then you should go and watch the Moments in Time series, so that you can see what we are up against, and don't fall for these fake and false narratives being spewed all over the country currently. They are electioneering. They don't care about your safety. In their actions, they don't show that at all. They are protecting their jobs, they are protecting their parties. They are protecting their movements. If any person in a party or movement or an MP or a councillor or whatever you want to call them tells you that they will sit down and negotiate one day when the criminals, uh, when the arms have been removed from them, then they will negotiate in disarming the citizens. They are mad. They are insane. They are not your friend. They are not my friend. I will fight them to the end. Do not fall for this narrative. Thank you very much. Till the next video.